my dear friend, to enlighten us about creation, God has created two books, the Bible and the book of nature. And part of the story of creation, he's written right into the stars and the rocks. And these two books do not and cannot contradict each other, but rather they supplement each other. The discoveries of science during the last century have impressed upon us all more than ever the awesome power and wisdom of God. Science and religion work together in opposing superstition. If God created us, then we belong to him as a book belongs to its author and as an invention belongs to its inventor. Because God is our beginning, he is also our end the final goal of all of our striving. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord. From nothing, God made an empire outside of himself, an empire so vast that we cannot even estimate its extent and we can only guess at its antiquity. In this empire, God has given us, you and I, first place. He's bestowed upon us such a dignity, such an inherent worth, that man is actually Lord and master of all visible creation. When we consider the awesome skies, the vast expanses of space through which the stars rush, we are not only filled with a reverent awe, but truly we are overwhelmed with gratitude for what God has done for us by making us of more importance than all of the material creation put together.